वेलकम टू डी डब्ल्यू बी आई अड्डा चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर लेटेस्ट ट्रेनिंग वीडियो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू पोस्ट री एस क्यूएल वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ टू एक्सेस डेटा टेबल्स एंड डिस्क्राइब दम फ्रॉम एस क्यू एल शेल लेट्स इनिशिएट द सेशन In this section we have enclosed a list of common database and table related psql commands if we want to know the current version of postgresql the command is select version this backslash l will display the list of databases if we want to connect to a specific database we have to mention the database name with backslash c similar to database commands this backslash dt will return a list of tables available in the current database and to describe it we have the command backslash d with table name to select the data from tables we can use select statement and finally we can quit the session using backslash q command now we are going to sql shell we have already installed the latest version of postgresql in our system this application folder is available in the start menu All the PostgreSQL related files and documents are grouped under this PostgreSQL folder. For this session, we only work with SQL shell. We will keep default pressing enter for server, database, port and username. In the password section, we have to provide the password. Our PSQL is ready for the commands. Let's start with the version checking. To do so, we have to write select version then semicolon this semicolon is mandatory so we are using the postgresql version 12.2 now we want to check the database is available in our postgresql database server to do so we have to use backslash and l let's execute it this is the list of available databases if we want to connect to specific database we have to mention backslash c then the database name let's connect with dvd rental so we have to use backslash c then dvd rental we are now connected to dvd rental database let's clear the screen to clear the screen we have to use backslash then exclamatory symbol then space cls A database usually contains one or more data tables. The command backslash dt will display the list of tables available in this current database. Let's check this backslash dt. So DVD rental contains total 19 tables. It is displaying a table along with schema, type and owner of that table. To describe a table, we have to use backslash and d. after that we have to specify our table name suppose if we want to describe this customer table we have to mention customer so this is the detail of our customer table the first section tells about the columns of the table first one is column name next one is data type then next section tell on default value of the column and whether the column accepts null or not Next section is for indexes. The primary key is customer ID, and the name of this index is customer underscore pk. Index IDs are also available for address ID, store ID, and last name. The address ID is the foreign key. It references the address ID of the address table. The next section is for reference by. The customer ID of customer table is referencing the customer ID of payment and rental tables. Finally, triggers. This table has one trigger on the system column last update. It will be updated by the function last update on every update of the table. We can move to another table using the previous backslash d command and after that we have to mention a table name. This time let's choose film table. So we can easily describe a table using this backslash d and table name command. We are finishing the session using backslash q command. It will quit the session. So that's all for today. 